what I'm making. Stuffed peppers. Keto approved. Hi guys. Just hoping to quickly do a pin. Hi. Hold on, Dochinka. Okay, there we go. So I just pinned a comment on there, that way you guys can see what I'm making. Today is day two of keto, and I'm feeling great. Excited for these 30 plus days. Um, and I have been craving stuffed peppers for a while, and now that it's cool enough, decided to make some stuffed peppers. I have made a similar recipe to this. Um, what's going on with my hair? Um, before, but today I'm making it in an Instant Pot. I've never made it in an Instant Pot, so we'll kind of go along together and learn together. But um, for those of you guys just joining in, I would love to hear where you're joining in from and um, what you guys did for dinner, or what are you doing for dinner? Hey, Jazzy. So I have a lovely assistant. We did not coordinate wearing stripes and black and white today, but Francesca, um, you want to show them what you're helping me with? Sure. No, it's okay. Here, like this. Um, I'm just cleaning up the peppers, like all the seeds and stuff. What is your mouth? So Francesca's helping me clean out the seeds from the mini bell peppers. Um, so what I did was I cut off like a really, here, let's see, really thin, not really thin, but like a really small piece. So here's your bell pepper mini one. You could probably do these with big ones. I actually kind of prefer small bell peppers and I will show you how to stuff them. Super easy, um, super good. Keto broccoli cheddar soup. Ooh, that sounds good. I want soup. I might need to try to make some of that soup. Okay, so check, and then, okay, after I cut that off, what you're gonna do, either with a knife, I'm gonna do this with a knife because my fingers are a lot bigger, but you just cut out the brains and then you tap to make sure you get all of the seeds out. So she's gonna do that and then, I got the other ones clean, but here, let me, let me cut these for you really quick. Um, and if you guys missed my stories, I shared um, stories of exactly what you're going to need. Um, and I'll make sure to save that under keto recipes. Um, I'll do keto dinner. Um, and then that way you guys can see how, um, what ingredients I used and how much you'll need. I think the only thing I forgot to mention is an onion and garlic, but I think everybody usually has that in their um, household um, and then let's see um, mushrooms are totally optional I just kind of wanted that meatiness um, and flavor in these um, and I'm using because I'm using turkey so it's less flavor so I'm adding more flavor by using that okay hold on I missed where you guys are joining in from let me know where you guys are joining in from and what did you do for dinner or what are you doing for dinner? Oh, awesome, Vika, that's, that's so cool. I hope you're doing this along. And I mean, if you're not doing keto, you could totally do rice, um, but I think they'll probably cook faster if you, if you use cauliflower rice. So if you wanna make it a little bit healthier, use cauliflower rice. And if you are just not into cauliflower, Maybe you, you can use quinoa as well, like um, raw quinoa. So everything's gonna be raw. That's gonna be stuffed into peppers. Um, and then I have, I'm gonna try how spicy this is, but I um, wanted to add a little bit of spice to this. Um, but I'm using this rustic tomato basil, like organic sauce, and it has no sugar in it, so it's really good for you. And I love Lucini, like one of my favorite brands. Uh, they were really fun to work with and I had a bunch of tomato sauce left over so I'm just kind of doing oh you had stuffed peppers awesome look at that great minds think alike 
So we'll try this, and if it's not super spicy, I'll use this, and if not, I'll have my kids go grab me another one of these. Um, and then I'm using this um, Simple Truth uh, turkey, and we might only need one. I'm gonna start with one. Awesome, ooh, yum. It's keto diet, yes it is. So it's a low carb, what is it? High fat and, you basically can eat meat, cheese, fish, uh, veggies, uh, veggies that are growing above the ground. Um, so, yeah. Uh, okay, so while she's doing the peppers, I'm gonna clean the mushrooms and then we're gonna make the cauliflower rice. I wanna try to get this done in an hour, so let's see how, excuse me, let me grab this for a second. Thank you. you could just do it on piece, on pickled onions. What? You could just do another live with these. No, I can do it on here, I just, mm -hmm. I wanna make dinner in an hour because I have not had lunch. I'm starving, so. Um, yes, let's do the mushrooms. I'm gonna chop up the mushrooms. I think I might, no, I won't break them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually just chop those up. So I know I've shown you guys this trick before, but never wash your mushrooms ever. They will be soggy and gross. Um, so I actually tend to not use my stems. I'll put them in like a Ziploc and put them in a the freezer if I'm doing some sort of stock or anything, throw that in there. So, oh. So let me know where you guys are joining in from um, and what did you guys do for dinner? And if you have tried keto, um, what was your success rate or whatever? Because how successful were you? Hi. So I'm just wiping with a clean dry towel and wiping my mushrooms. Hello. Let me know where you guys are joining in from and what did you do for Hello. dinner? Yeah, I know you see. Keto tortilla soup. I need to see how to do that. Can you have corn on keto? I think you can, right? Probably not too much because it's really sweet. Hi. This is one. I'm so happy to hear that. Insta pot beef ragu, yum. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> There's Cheka helping me. Um, I'm using cremini mushrooms, which are the brown mushrooms, but you could totally use whatever if you could totally use white mushrooms They're gonna be the same. You could use whatever. Um, I would say either white or cremini mushrooms I would use for this. I would probably not do different other kinds So and then Yeah, I would not use shiitake mushrooms because it's not an Asian flavor Yep it's sugar and carbs, so no corn. Yeah, I figured. That's why I can't have corn tortillas. For those of you who have done um, keto or doing keto, what do you use for, like, to do taco uh, wraps? Do you use like lettuce, or lettuce or what do you usually use when you're doing Can keto? I have this tiny one. Sure. Cleaning up my mess a little bit. How are they going to go by themselves? I'm grab a knife and chop these guys up. Butter lettuce, okay. Been on keto for six weeks, lost 10 pounds and two inches of my waist. That's awesome. You have somebody probably here. Okay, so I'm cutting my mushrooms. So here's your mushrooms. I'm cutting them in half. And then I'm just going to just literally finely chop them. Mission Valley, three carbs. Oh, okay. Okay, good to know. Okay, so you, I literally want this to be super, oh, you know what? This is what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna chop them. I'm just gonna cut them in half. Is she coming to hang out? She's gonna come help. So then. Hi. Um, yeah. Oh, I like your jacket. It's so cute. That's why I wanted that um, type of backpack. So then it's like waterproof. It's like a waterproof backpack. Yeah. Hands. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. We have another helper. You can wash on my hair in the kitchen. Okay. 
So we're actually just going to make this even easier and we're gonna shred everything on my, um, in my food processor. So I have, I actually linked the food processor and all the things that I'm using today. So that way you guys, uh, cause I know you always ask for links for things. So I did that in my stories before I started the live. So you, if you have questions about my food processor or the instant pot or whatever, you could totally do that. How are you doing keto? Stick to you when it gets hard. There's no cheap meals on keto. Your hard work will pay off. Okay, so I'll tell you what we're doing. Basically we're going to Go onto the oh, plate. awesome. Okay, so I'm using the bowl, and then uh, mine comes with an attachment, um, and it can either slice or shred. Okay, Francesca, choo choo, but you should. So then, what you do is you close the lid, and now I'm literally going to shred shred these because I want them to be really finely shredded because they're gonna go into the meat. Um, so let's see, make sure I'm not missing any, nope. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn this on, probably let's start with low. And I've never done mushrooms on this, so let's see how it goes. If I don't like it, then we'll use something else. I mean, we'll just use a knife. Okay, so you turn this on. And you, oh. This part would help <laughs> to push it down. How easy was that? Oh, <laughs> thank you. All right, so there we go. That was shredded, um, I don't know, I think I did about eight mushrooms that were like medium sized. All right, let me clean this guy out because then we're gonna do, so you could totally um, save time and buy a ready made. Yeah, they're all done. Thank you, honey. You're good to go, you can go play, mm. thank you. Thank you, girls. Um, so yeah, you could totally use a cheese grater uh, to grate this. I mean, I've never cheese grated uh, mushrooms, but you could chop these too, like really, really finely. You just want them to kind of go into the meat um, and not be very noticeable. This is a great way to add veggies into like meatballs or I've added it into uh, burgers and I made it super delicious. Let's see what are you guys saying? Okay, so shredded mushrooms. I'm gonna add this in to my bowl, and then I'm gonna see. I might use only half of the cauliflower, but I'm gonna use. I'm gonna show you guys the trick that I showed yesterday on live, and because my live got deleted which sucks because there was music playing in the background and I guess Instagram was like, uh, there's, the music is not copyrighted so we're gonna shut down your, inst your live and so that was not saved and that really sucked. So, I have mushrooms, that's the beginning. And you know what, I bet this would taste even just good if you just did mushrooms and turkey, you could totally do beef. I kind of like doing turkey for these because um, they the turkey is so like blah that I like to um, add uh, flavors to this. So if you're not doing keto, you could totally use quinoa for a healthier version or add in some raw rice. Maybe do like, I don't know, like a good handful of raw rice. So I'm just gonna dump in one package you know what, actually I'm just gonna do two because whatever is left over and I don't use up, I'm just gonna do turkey meatballs out of it and cook with the sauce. I have music playing but very low in the background which 
I know, sucks. It's like my lives are always with music. So, all right, so we have the turkey. Hi, Maddie. Um, we have the two packages of turkey, about, I think it was eight uh, mushrooms. Um, next, we're gonna chop up some green onions. I think I might do like three. Um, I don't, I didn't wanna add any raw onion, like red, raw, red, regular onions because it just tends to add a lot more um, onion -y flavor, so you get those nasty burps and stuff after you eat like meatballs and things like that. So for those of you guys just joining in, I would love to hear where you're joining in from and what did you do for dinner and all that jazz. And have you tried keto diet? Um, or are you thinking about it? Today's my day two. Last week I did semi-keto. Um, I, I had a big uh, catering job, so there was times I was just not being able to do that. But this week is full on keto, at least for 30 days. I might do it for 60 with like a few cheat meals after the 30 days because there's holidays coming up and everything. Um, if you guys haven't read my latest blog post, you should, and I will tell you, oh yeah, um, I will tell you the reason why I'm doing keto. So if you haven't read my latest blog post, you can just go to lenaskitchenblog.com and read the latest blog post um, that's on the Mediterranean um, burger salad. It was kind of a decision that I've been thinking about doing and finally doing it, so. You know, I actually like keto because you can eat cheese, you can have butter, and uh, you can't do milk, but you could do heavy cream and half and half, and I feel like I can just I'm just not like a coconut and almond milk person, so it was really hard. It's, I feel like it's hard, it would be harder for me to stick to Whole30 lifestyle, not just the 30 days. Bye, babe. Um, so yeah, I just added the green onions in here. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm like, I was so hot yesterday. I was dying, so I'm like, tank top. I just got this cute tank top today at Old Navy. Um, the next thing I'm going to add in is some spinach because I want to be able to make sure we're getting good amount of uh, fiber and all that doing keto and because my kids are doing it with me only for dinner, um, dinner time. Otherwise they're, you know, they're having like sandwiches and stuff like that for lunch. Um, so next I'm going to chop up like a good, like full handful of spinach and I'm just literally going to chop it up like really really fine because I don't want it to be noticeable in the meat uh, that's going to be put together in, for the stuffing of the mini bell peppers. Aw thank you but you know what if I have a YouTube channel who am I talking to there's nobody to talk to I at least have you guys asking me questions doing the live. And plus, YouTube channel like means you have to learn how to edit videos, and I just don't have time for that. Ooh, pozole. Yum. So I'm just literally going in, chopping this up super, super fine. And I'll see if I need more um, after I mix in my meat. So I'm just going to add all that in into my bowl and then I'm gonna do a little bit of garlic let's do like two cloves of garlic and I'm just gonna finally chop up garlic could totally use tome but I haven't made any that's keto approved um, so I'll see if I can make some tomorrow tome is the garlic sauce that I've been using actually I'm gonna do three cloves small they're small cloves so Let's use three cloves of garlic, smash these. And I'm gonna try not to look, look up as uh, much. You work that nice. <laughs> this is my favorite knife. I can do a link to this knife. It's literally the best. It's worth every penny. Like if you, um, oh you had it, you had it right, Alina, first time. Knife with the F. Knives with the V. 
Whew, I'm so hungry. I had a little packet of seaweed for lunch because I was, I was literally not hungry. Like one thing I like about keto so far is I'm not hungry. Like I was very satisfied with the breakfast I made this morning. Did my baked eggs again this morning and they were so good. Um, okay, so wedge salad. Ooh, yum. So just crush your garlic. You could also grate this on a microplane if you wanted to, to make it easier. But I'm just going to really, really finely chop this. And when you're chopping um, anything like this that's small, let me move this over. You wanna rock your knife. So you're basically rocking your knife. You're going up and down and then this way. And that's like really, really finely chopped. Make sure you remove the garlic from the side. Kind of collect this in a pile. Flatten it a little bit so it's more together. And then let's do that one more time. You just want to do like very small strokes when you're going up and down. So that way the finer it, uh, the smaller the movements, the finer it chops. That should be good. So that was three cloves of garlic in my bowl. So right now I have two packages of turkey, about eight shredded mushrooms that I shredded on my um, food processor, three, uh, three onions, three green onions chopped, like a big handful of spinach finely chopped and three cloves of garlic. Let's add some salt. Now I always use sea salt I'll do about three pinches and then we can adjust. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to add in, I want to show you guys this trick. And then we're going to, whoops. Then we're going to shred um, the cauliflower. But I showed this trick yesterday and you guys were like blown away. I don't remember who I learned this from, but it was another blogger that I learned this from. So you take your cauliflower head, so um, and then you, okay, when I buy cauliflower, you always look at how much like greenery is here because the more greenery, the less cauliflower you get. So you're paying for greenery that you don't need. So when you're choosing cauliflower, look at that next time. But look at this, super easy. I'm going to take this apart in less than a minute. So watch this. You take your cauliflower, keep it in a bag, do not take it out because this is gonna be mess-free cauliflower taken apart. Ready? Pound. Ooh, my bag just ripped, so but I'm gonna continue doing this. Ooh, and low cauliflower, okay. Oh yeah, I'm not doing like too much fried cheese and all that. I'm trying to keep it healthier because, I mean, I'm trying to lose fat, not put in too much more fat into my body. So, look at this. I'm gonna just show you really quick. Whoops. I mean, okay, if my bag didn't rip, I would have taken apart this as well. But look at this, you have cauliflower florets. And you just cut them into, you know, the sizes that you need. So there you go. I showed this trick yesterday and you guys were amazed. So I thought I would show you again. So I'm going to actually cut these into slightly smaller pieces because the hole that's in my um, food processor is not that big. And then what I'm going to make sure is I'm going to remove these larger stems because they become too watery and I don't want that as my like rice. So you could totally buy rice cauliflower. I technically don't prefer frozen. I would say go for fresh better when you're buying rice cauliflower. Personally, I just, there's so much more water when things are frozen. So I tend to buy things that are fresh. So if I wanted to save time, I would have totally bought uh, the cauliflower rice, but I want it to be finer cauliflower rice because sometimes you get the cauliflower rice and it's like the pieces are just too big for me. So 
I wouldn't have to chop them anyways. So let's see, I'm gonna do, I don't wanna do too much cauliflower because it's gonna give off some, some liquid anyways into the stuffed peppers. Um, so I'm just gonna clean off, let's see. I'm literally eyeballing this, guys. I don't have a recipe for this. This is you seeing it first and you're gonna kinda play along with me. Um, I'm gonna, I've never done these in an Instant Pot, so I'm not sure what the timing's gonna be that I set it on, maybe 15 minutes. Um, today's day two on keto, but last week I did kinda like a semi-keto and I loved it, I wanted to test it out see how I felt um, and I really liked it. So I just decided that this week it's a go, um, but let's do another shredding process. So I showed this to you before with the mushrooms. Um, I'm never sure like which way is best to put my um, thing. Let's see what this is. I'm shredding, I think this way, let's see. So I shredded my mushrooms like this so you're not doing any kind of um, Deanna, actually, I already have um, a blog post. If you go to elenaskitchenblog.com and search kitchen essentials, or just put in kitchen, and there's a whole blog post of my favorite pots and pans, my favorite appliances, and all that, not appliances, but uh, like small appliances. So I'm going to be doing, let's see, I'm going to show you how much cauliflower. Let's just measure this with a spoon, with a cup thing. That way we can kind of see how much loose. No, Maddie, I'm not letting you out, sorry. So let's just say about two and a half cups, but you know this is gonna become a lot smaller, so let's, it's about two cups of florets. And let's see how much cauliflower rice we get out of two cups of florets. So I have my shredding attachment on my food processor. I'm gonna turn it to low and start putting these guys in. That was done. Professor gets delivered today. Oh, I'm so excited. Awesome, Emily. Okay, so we have a few stripe stri stragglers. That's okay. I'm not gonna use those. But I'm gonna measure out how much we got out of two cups of florets. with my hand and I might not use all of it I'm gonna see I'm gonna add half of it because I don't want it to be like super cauliflowery flavor um, in the meat but this kind of replaces breadcrumbs um, and rice so if you're doing meatballs you could to totally do the same thing Let's get some of the stuff that got stuck in here Oh, there's some big chunks. I don't want, you don't want big chunks. So you could totally use a cheese grater, like the larger thing on a cheese grater, if you don't have a food processor. So you don't need a food processor just to do this. But you do need a food processor to make, um, like pie dough, I use it uh, to make my, um, see, I use it to make, whatchamacallit, a lot of my sauces um, so yeah I mean I love my food processor so we got about two cups yeah perfectly two cups so I'm gonna start with half of that Let's see I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff made quite a 
a mess here. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. All right. So I have my... Um, no, um, I don't think you can have oats on keto. I actually would probably prefer, I don't, I don't think you can. Yeah, I, I, I'm okay with just doing, hold on. There's some like larger pieces, which I don't want. Okay. Let's add about half of that little yeah about half and then use your hands if you're like totally freaked out use a spoon but I feel like put on gloves and use your hand because you're gonna feel the consistency of the meat so here's everything I have green onions garlic I have some I have mushrooms cauliflower uh, let's see what else Oh, and turkey. You could totally use like pork or beef or like a mixture of or chicken. Um, I just kind of prefer using turkey for stuffed um, peppers. So you don't want to overstuff this. And I'll show you guys how I taste my meat. Like don't like freak out because I'm gonna be putting raw meat in my mouth. I do not swallow my saliva. I spit out the saliva after trying the meat. Um, this is what my mom does. It's kind of maybe like a Russian thing, I don't know. So she puts the meat um, on her tongue and then you could totally taste, hi, you could totally taste if the meat is salty enough, if it needs something else, and then just spit out and you can wash out your mouth if you want, whatever. I'm not like freaked out about that. So I'm just gonna taste this. I know that I need um, a little bit more salt. So I think that should be fine. And actually just that one cup of cauliflower, a little bit more than one cup of cauliflower is just fine. I don't want it to be, like I'm gonna show you guys. See, it's like you don't want it to be super overpowering in the cauliflower. And like I said, if you're not doing keto and Hi, girl. I miss you, Dominica. This is so good and healthy, and it's going to be so easy. I'm going to show you guys a totally easy trick on how to stuff these mini bell peppers that you don't have to get your hands dirty. So this is the only time you're going to get your hands dirty in meat, and I only really got one hand dirty, so it's not bad. Um, I will totally put the recipe up um, after, but if you, what I did is before in my stories, I showed all of the ingredients and how much of what I'm gonna be using. Um, I've never made this before, so it's kind of like a test run. I tend to do like a test run recipe with you guys um, when it comes to um, lives, because in that way I can see how it goes, you guys can see the process, uh, and then I will totally do a blog post if it turns out good because I've never made them in um, Instant Pot before, so I don't know what it is. The, the thing is, I can't add um, lives in my highlights, unfortunately. Why? I don't know. I hope Instagram does it soon. Okay. If you guys have a Kroger near you and you haven't tried the seltzer water, it's pineapple. It is my favorite. It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair up a little bit because it's in my way. Okay, so now you need either a good quality Ziploc or you can use uh, one of your, hi, um, or you can use like, you know, one of those uh, piping bags. I don't have a piping bag, I'm not a baker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a um, Ziploc and we're gonna use this to stuff our mini bell peppers. So what I'm gonna do is, aw, thank you. I'm gonna use a spoon this time so I'm not getting my hands dirty. 
And I'm just gonna add in my stuffing inside the bag. And I'm gonna stuff the mini bell peppers with this. Because, gosh, have you ever tried shoving like all this stuffing into a mini bell pepper with a spoon? You break them, all the stuff happens. Yeah, no thanks. I did this process years ago. I don't even know how I came up with it. And I was like, oh my God, genius. So I'm doing keto um, for probably the next, until probably until the end of the year. So, but I will totally have like cheat meals after 30 days. 30 days is gonna be strict. Um, yeah, so stuff everything here. Make sure you take out all the air. Yeah, I'm thinking, okay, so if you guys haven't read my latest blog post, uh, the reason why I'm doing this and what my goal is, you guys need to go read the latest blog post on danaskitchenblog.com. And um, it's under the Mediterranean um, salad, the Mediterranean burger salad. It is so good. If you guys have not tried the, um, the salad yet, the recipe, it's so easy. It's so delicious, so flavorful. And you could totally make it ahead of time. So go check out that recipe if you haven't yet. So I'm gonna check, I think I need a bigger, slightly bigger hole. So you just cut the corner of your Ziploc bag or use a piping bag. So, and then watch this. It'll probably be easier if you did the piping bag, but whatever, it is what it is. Take your pepper and stuff it. Don't press too hard because sometimes the bag can uh, burst, which is fine. You could totally replace it. Yes, Luchinka. Do you know what the Scramble game is? Scrabble? It's downstairs uh, where all the game, like where Domino game is. Mm -hmm. And look at this, guys. Voila. Not even, not even five seconds. Um, I am Ukrainian. Another Anian, but not Romanian. Damnika is Ukraine, uh, Ukraine. Damnika is Dem uh, Romanian. I'm Ukrainian. So it's okay that some comes out. So I kind of like to overstuff them a little bit. Oh, this one I feel like. Let's see. No, that's fine. Okay, so then let's just. So you basically want to try to. Here, I'll show this again. You want to try to put the whole thing in, and then when it starts pushing the meat out naturally, that means it's stuffed. So, and you know what you could totally do um, is, if you're making some sort of like meatball soup or something, you're like, I don't wanna to touch the meat, you could use an ice cream scooper or do the same thing and then just kind of press out little meatballs and pop them into um, your um, soup. So if you're doing some sort of like a meatball soup, you could totally use this trick too. And using the cauliflower makes it really nice and healthy and delicious. So, Dom, you haven't done a live in a while. How was your trip to Greece? So jelly of that. How did you like, did you like Mykonos? Um, or did you, I, I know you probably preferred Santorini over Mykonos, but. I've only been to Mykonos once in 2005 for my graduation. Hi, we're making some stuffed peppers that are keto approved. I used turkey um, and then I used cauliflower and some fresh herbs, garlic, mushrooms. I feel like if whatever I have left over, I'm totally gonna make like a, like a dried mushroom meatball soup. I think it would be super delicious. Francesca asked me, oh, yeah, it looked like you guys were having a lot more fun in, um, in uh, whatchamacallit, the first island. Okay. This makes it so fast. And the nice thing is like, you could totally pre-do this. Um, 
I'll pre do this, pre make this, and then you could probably no, you have to. I think you have to cook them and then freeze them. So if you want to freeze, I'm not good at freezing food, so I'm not like the perfect person to ask like what freezes well and all that stuff. So you could totally try it out, but I don't know. I like things freshly done and reinventing leftovers because tomorrow I'll probably have this for lunch tomorrow. Uh, but then if I have any leftover, what I would do is just chop them up and then saute an egg, saute them with an egg and some extra spinach. That's how I would redo this as a leftover if I wanted to do that for breakfast. So you gotta get creative. I mean, you don't need to create one thing and just eat, eat it the same way it was meant to be eaten the first time. So. I think we might have enough to do like a small batch of soup. I've been wanting to do soup for a while. Wow, there's a lot of you guys on. I did not even recognize, realize that. Some water. Okay, if you guys are doing keto, how many glasses of water are you drinking every day? I'm doing 10 glasses. And let me tell you, I'm a peeing like so many times a day. It's crazy. No, just a Ziploc, like a good Ziploc. Don't use a cheap Ziploc. And if you don't have a zip, if you have a pastry bag, use that instead without the tip. So you don't need to use any kind of those like metal tips or anything. I just took a Ziploc and then I just cut a hole into it in the middle. So. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that, Car Carolina. Okay. If you guys are ever making one of my recipes and you have a question, totally send me a message. I'm usually pretty good about answering them pretty quick. Um, unless I have something going on and I haven't been near my phone, but I'm usually pretty good at answering messages really quick. Could you, I think she wants to go outside or I don't know what she wants to check. Almost done and then we're gonna, then we're gonna start the cooking process in an instant pot and we'll see. I have a feeling they'll be done in like 15 minutes in an instant pot. Okay. So I have this much left over and you could totally save this and buy more and totally do that. Um, or you can stuff big peppers and cook them too. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Got it. Have fun. Um, I don't speak Ukrainian. I speak Russian, but my kids um, understand everything in Russian. They speak uh a little bit not like fully but oh they loved it it was oh my god it was so good it was so good oh my those shrimp oh so delicious that's going on a blog like for sure not even like thinking about it but i i can't wait to make them again so i can eat it it was that good but unfortunately, my first live got deleted by Instagram. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm using this uh, basil tomato sauce. You can totally use your favorite marinara sauce. You can make, you can use um, like tomato sauce that's like blended, not chunky at all. Um, I mean, whatever you kind of like. So if you, if you don't have it at home and you have like one jar of this and one jar of that, mix it up. If you wanna put your, um, jars and like blend in a blender or immersion blender you do you um i want to try actually francesca Chaka. can you please do me a favor come here visual i need you to look me in the eyes when i'm asking you something i need you to go into the garage i know it is okay but make sure that it says tomato basil not the spicy I don't think I'm going to use the spicy one because I'm afraid of kids um, doing stuff. <sighs> Do I have a cookbook out? No. I'm hoping um, to work on it next year and pitch it. Creamy garlic cauliflower today with the shrimp and oh, isn't it so good? Oh, it is delicious. All right, I'm going to move you guys to my other station. 
which is called the Instant Pot. I'm gonna, okay, so one thing, one of my friends gave me a tip is to put your Instant Pot on something wooden, like a wooden board or something, because she's heard of people's Instant Pot cracking the countertops, so I would rather not, you know, have to discover that. Oh, actually, what I wanted to do before we do that, I'm gonna have that on saute mode, but I'm gonna grab an onion because I wanna add some of my own flavor to the sauce. So I'm just gonna chop up some onion and a little bit of garlic and a little bit of basil. Um, I did, so, Ina, if you wanna look at the Instant Pot, if you go to the store, like once you're done watching this or if you're done watching this, cool. Um, I put all of the appliances that, not appliances, the tools that I'm using today uh, with a swipe up link to shop for them. So if you wanna go check it out after you're done with the live, um, I have the Instant Pot, everything on there. So they're all my stories. Grab, oh, there's my big knife. So I'm just gonna do an onion this big because I'm doing, a bigger amount of peppers. I'm just going to quickly chop up my onion, add a little garlic. So I wanna add some flavor, my own flavor into the tomato sauce. So you could totally buy like cheap tomato sauce and make it better by adding things like garlic and onion, a little bit of cumin, whatever, whatever spices you like. Some oregano, or dried oregano actually works, not cumin. Forget about that. Um, and then add some like fresh basil or whatever into there and it will add really good flavor. And then, yeah, I have the Instant Pot one. But if you wanna swipe up and see the um, exact one I have um, and which size and everything, you can totally check that out. Okay, so half to my onion. And then what I'm gonna do here, go a little bit lower so you guys can see a little bit further. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand in my um, sharp knife and then we're gonna cut like, I want them to be really small because I don't want it to be overpowering. Oh, I don't have any whipping cream, unfortunately. I forgot to buy some. Um, so I'm gonna cut this into one, two, three, probably four slices this way and then I'm going to cut it this way because I want to make like nice uh, small dice. So you're just having your hand guide and hold your onion together and then make incisions. Again, they're about like a quarter inch apart so that way you have about quarter inch dice. I'm gonna chop fast, so that way we can, I was hoping to get this done in an hour or so, because I'm starving, and I don't even know, oh yeah, I think Instagram's gonna kick us off in about five, 10 minutes. So if anything, I might just show you guys the end in stories, because I don't know how many lives it lets you do I already have one from yesterday? I don't know if it's still valid, but so it might go away. Okay, so here's half an onion. You just wanna make sure everything's finely diced and that's gonna go into my Instant Pot with a little bit of olive oil, some salt, and I'm gonna chop up some garlic. Even though I know this sauce is already good, but I still wanna add my own flavor to it, the tomato sauce that is. You could totally, oh, you know what I saw at Trader Joe's, if I think would actually be pretty good, is their like fall harvest tomato sauce. It has like butternut squash or pumpkin or something, but I think that'd be kind of good if you used um, that sauce and then added your own flavor to it, so. And then you can adjust the seasoning of the sauce because they're not always um, salty enough or something for you, so. Adjust the seasoning. Don't just put it in out of put it in out of the jar and not adjust it. So, oh, oh yeah, cauliflower. Thank you guys. I'm trying not to look so I'm not um, 
So I'm not taking too long to do this, but I'm just adding, I'll, I'll, I'll move you guys in a second to this area. Let's just move this whole thing and I'll move you guys to that area too. That way you guys can see closer. So just adding some couple tablespoons of olive oil because I wanted to saute up nicely. And we have the one chopped onion and I have this on saute mode on my instant pot. So that's just um, cooking up my onions and releasing the flavors together. And after a few minutes, I will add in some chopped garlic and then we'll add in the tomato sauce and then we'll start layering the peppers in there. So I'm gonna move you guys back and then let's do the garlic. Before I do that, let's add a little bit of salt. We grab a spatula really quick. Move the onions around. So I love the Instant Pot because it's a one pot deal. Like you can do, you can make rice, you can make soup, you can make, you can steam on this. You could do, um, whatchamacallit, you could totally do like, you can use it as a slow cooker too. So um, I make rice on this thing and I do not use the rice setting on this. I do my own setting for rice and that's something that's coming to the blog for sure because it's such it's like the best rice no rice cooker needed at all so i'm trying to let you know that you don't need that many tools like i have food processor instant pot um, immersion blender and a blender that's it like that's my like tools that i use that's not a knife I'm thirsty, talking a lot, really fast. Um, so I've not, I haven't made brown rice in it because I don't actually like brown rice, but I've done white rice, like uh, either jasmine or um, just like the short rice. Where did I buy what? The Instant Pot? Or what? Ida, what, what are you asking about? The Instant Pot or what? Hi. Um, I bought it online um, at, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Williams-Sonoma. I did a link to the Instant Pot and um, so you could totally use the pan, a pan too. So see how I have like a stob right there? I did a link to that too. So if you don't have an Instant Pot and you're like, I'm not gonna be buying one, you know what, that's fine. You don't need to buy one. So you could totally do this in a pot and let it cook um, on a stove. It'll just take a lot longer. I think it'll be done in about 15 minutes because I think it should because it's a pressure cooker so it definitely oh there you go I mean you guys could totally check it out yeah I mean I don't know what like how good of a quality they are I mean are, I don't know if they're the same or whatever but it was a hundred bucks and I love my instant pot I've had it for like three and a half years so I don't know sometimes I don't trust some of those stores because if that breaks after a certain amount of time, you're gonna take it back to like home goods or whatever. Their return policy is not that good. But I know William Sonoma and I trust all that. So you know, you guys do you, but I did give you guys the links if you would like to use them. So I'm just sweating this a little bit. I'm just gonna give it a couple more minutes. And then we're gonna add in the 
two jars. I'm going to show you guys really this way so you can read it. Of this Lucchini uh, rustic tomato basil sauce. It's one of my favorites. What I learned to cook. Um, I mean, my whole family, like my aunts and uncles and every, well, more aunts. I grew up in like cooking family, but I didn't, I didn't learn how to cook until I was 19 and I moved out on my own and my dad was like, oh, are you a Russian woman? Like, how are you going to be a wife? And you don't know how to make borscht and all that stuff. And I'm like, I don't like that stuff. Now I love it because my mom makes it and it's like pretty much the only time I eat Russian food is when I go visit or my mom comes over. Um, so I'm pretty, like people always ask me for Russian recipes and I'm like, you know what? It's kind of like my sacred thing that my mom makes and I kind of want to enjoy it, her version. So um, we're going to start with one jar and I'm going to see if we need second jar um, after I put in the peppers in a layer. So we'll see if I need extra. But um, my favorite chef is um, Ina Garden and um, Jamie Oliver. And I, I bought my first cookbook when I was 19. It was a Jamie Oliver cookbook. I still have it. Um, and I just kind of started reading and I started watching YouTube videos. And um, I loved Jamie Oliver's cooking shows. Um, he's pretty amazing. Um, I think I did a... Um, a highlight story on my mom's that one I would totally share because it's one of my favorites mm. hi sweetheart did you see the paper I have not seen the I have not looked there's my son I love you love you, too. you excited for peppers yeah yum what's cooking in there um, just some onions and garlic a little salt and olive oil Okay, I think I'm gonna add in my tomato sauce. And then, so what I'm gonna do is, Nikita, we deep it Somebody also. said Jamie Oliver is great. I know. So I just dumped out this one jar of the sauce. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about a quarter of it and I'm gonna add some water. And whirl this around and then dump it in here. So that way you're not getting rid of all this goodness. Just kind of shake it to get all that. Nikita, how was your lunch today? It was good. <laughs> Look at that, you're getting so many hearts. It was good. It's so cute. Which, which one was your favorite, the, uh, what did I, I give you? Quesadilla or the sandwich? Uh, sandwich. Okay, I'm gonna taste this for salt. Uh, Mama? Yep. There's only a minute remaining. Oh, okay, so Instagram's gonna kick us off. Do you guys wanna go on uh, second and finish, uh, me finish this? I think I should do live 2.0. What do you guys think? Uh, say yes if you want me to, if you wanna finish this on live. Uh, so many people are saying yes, 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 yes. All right, so let me just get off. I'm gonna save this one. So if you guys are watching this, make sure to watch this one first if you wanna see all of the progress. And then we're gonna do second one so you guys can see everything finished for the stuffed peppers. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute or actually 30 seconds or so. All right, bye.